yeah, I wrote my first uh, rap when I was eight, and it was, my name is Taz and I live in Barra, born black and strong, I'm singing this song, hear my words and join along. That's it, simple as that. I got too much level, move up, level, don't burn out, just level, now who up? I got too much level, move up, level, don't burn out, just level, now who up? We made the song three weeks before we put it out and then we got the master back a day before we put it on Unearthed and SoundCloud. I had people in my ear saying, let's hold off for two months and build a big structure around it and make it a single. But for me, it wasn't, it wasn't that. It, it wasn't something I wanted people to see that as what I've been sitting on since Mission Famous. It was just like, okay, I wrote this just then, you just have it right now. And then they got the need and people were like, can you put this on streaming services? Which was the plan to build that need first. And then we got that and then we got to playlists like A1 Hip Hop and um, you know New Music Fridays. And I was like, that's crazy. Like we wrote that song in two hours and put it out in two weeks with no like PR. It's just having fun with it, like with those songs. I mean, with every song I write, it's basically having fun with it and you know, not taking myself too serious. I just felt the need to show people some rap. Flopley's Obviously, you know, that stems from my great uncle. He's passed away now. Um, and if you notice, like with the EP, is there's kind of this overlaying message of, I guess, death in a way. Like the last song is Death Into Life and it just always leads back to that. And um, because that's all I've seen growing up, like I've been to more funerals and I've been wed like weddings. Points that make it clear to me that that EP to be my first drop was the right thing to do was when we had the show in Barrowville on the release day and the next day my uncle passed away and he was at the show and so like the last song he heard before he left this world was my blogless and like that for me without any accolades like I don't need any awards that's that's enough like that's that's telling me that that was the right thing to do it feels good you know like um just taking these small steps eventually to to bigger things. Uh, you know, I moved to Sydney March last year and we put a show on at Botany View Hotel first and then it was at another venue, I can't remember the name, but it's just slowly making these steps and each time it's like, okay, we're selling more tickets, we get more people come in. And so I feel comfortable in knowing that, you know, that's, that's the way to get to that bigger thing is that we're building that base first in any venues like this is special. We're using hip hop now and, you know, everyday music now to replace that storytelling because we don't know those traditional ways anymore but we still need a way to tell our stories and speak our voice because that's in our blood like our history isn't written it's just singing and dancing so I think the most natural way for us to continue doing that is you know by singing you get the fuck on this stage, yo, from CRB. CCR on stage. Yeah, Let's fuck get it. Hey! I'll be raising the on top of me was the keys to the side show. Clown motherfuckers run down motherfuckers. I'm supposed to be locked up with three cousins, but my open mind always set me free. Smuggled in some bubble time, watch out for the heat. They want us dead, multiply by three. My bolapo, my bolapo, lay my bolapo.